What's up, baseball fans? It's your boy, Jeremy, back with another one. It's officially spring training. Baseball is back. I'm very excited about that. I've got Padres season tickets this year, so I'm gonna go to at least 20 Padres games, including opening day. I'm hoping to take you guys along for most, if not all of those games. It's gonna be a great time. We've got the World Baseball Classic coming up. I might go to Miami and see a quarterfinals game. That'll be fun. I play in a men's baseball league, 18 and over here in San Diego, but I haven't picked up a bat in like six months, and our first game of the season is next Sunday. So I wanna get some practice in, wanna get some cuts in so I don't make a fool of myself. There's there's a bunch of batting cages here in San Diego, but something I've been wanting to try for a really long time is hit tracks. It's basically a baseball simulator. It tracks all of these different metrics, how fast you swing the bat, your exit velocity, your launch angle. It puts all that stuff together and simulates and sort of visualizes where the ball would go and how far you would hit it and the, the trajectory of the ball. And you can also play in different major league stadiums and there's different games and stuff. It looks like a blast. I've never gotten a chance to use them. They're super expensive. I think they cost like 10 grand, but I found out Dick's Sporting Goods, at least some of them here in San Diego, advertise that they have hit tracks. So I called around and I found one. I'm gonna try hit tracks for my very first time. We'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Here's the GoPro video of my hitting session. I was in the cage for about 15 minutes. If you wanna know why this was such an epic fail, just stick around till the end. I wish I could put on more of a show, but I think that's as hard as I can hit it. A few moments later. I just finished up my first ever hitting session with a hit track system. It was a ton of fun. I was completely drenched in sweat. Like I was worn out, completely gassed, but had a good time. I gotta say though, it was a bit of a fail. It was a fail for two reasons. One, I at no point hit it over 80 miles per hour exit velocity, which I was really disappointed in. You are hitting off the tee and they have foam balls, like the dimpled foam balls that you see a lot of times in batting cages. The ball affects the exit velocity, but I wanted to see myself get at least 80, even with the foam balls, even with the tee. Didn't happen. I think my highest exit velocity was 77 miles per hour. I got to work on that. Not great. Even worse than that, I had the camera on me the entire time because I was planning on getting the hit tracks data sent to me via email after. Totally forgot to ask the Dick Sporting Goods employee to actually do that. So that's not happening. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get to actually see the visualizations of hit track. So I totally blew it. Epic fail on my part. I'm sorry, I'll do better next time.